So the first half of this video is actually gonna be completely unedited just to show you guys how bad I am at actually speaking. So today we got the Padcaster, which is a cheap teleprompter you can get for, I believe it's like $9,900. I'll have a link for it in the description. It's gonna be an affiliate link just so I can get like a couple of pennies off of you guys. But again, this part is completely ended. I'm not gonna do any cuts because usually I'm pretty bad at talking, but we'll, we'll see how I do. But, but the first half is just gonna be unedited. But the other half, I'm gonna be writing a script and actually running this through it just to show you guys like the difference of like how I'm talking now versus how I'm talking with a script. So this is just, I'm just talking off the, off the top of my head right now. So, okay, let's get back. Let's get into unboxing the Padcaster right over here. So let's open this up. I hope there isn't too much things to unbox. But first, here, let's do it like this. There you go, we got the warranty. If you don't care. The Padcaster instructions, we're not gonna read the instructions. Of course not. And we got, um, this is the cleaning kit, so I guess so you can clean your lenses before you put whatever this thing is on. Put whatever this thing on your camera. One thing I am in. in see, see how bad I'm talk at talking. Hopefully this will help improve the video quality. So, but one thing I am curious about is that um. So with my camera that I'm using right now, the FS5, it's on rails. So I hope it doesn't interfere with that. Cause I also have the A7R3 that's shooting me as can be, but I, I know I can put it on there cause you, you just put this on the filter thread, but I don't know how it works with railing and hopefully we might be able to like do some modding with this in the future. So we can put it on rails if we can't do it right now. Cause I do want to have this on Cam8, which is FS5 that's on rails. So here we go. Let's get that in focus. So here in the middle, we got the pad caster, which is, um, let's open this up, get rid of the plastic, throw on the floor. Okay. We open up from the, oh, it just slides up to reveal the lens with the swirl. It's going to be reflecting your words. I don't want to touch it because I want to get any smudges on it. And here at the back, there's like a filter. I guess it's where you put the lens on. Yeah, I guess it's how you screw the lens on it. Okay. I'm gonna like write up like how the experience is, so. That's gonna be the other half of the video. Okay, and here we got a pouch. Here, let's just throw you north up that real quick. Let's open this up, and this is where we have the different lens um, thread size up and downs whatever that's called but oh my god <laughs> oh my god they give you a lot so if you didn't have any, have any step up rings that's what they were called then you're in luck you got lots right here it comes with a nice little pouch too so that's nice because I actually have a bunch of these in my house but they're just like in like a drawer just loose so let's put that back. I'm sure you guys are loving the unedited content right here. And then on the side, we got the remotes, which is a, it's a Bluetooth remote that you can use with iPhone or Android. Focus on the remote, please. It's not focusing on my face. There you go. We got the remote right here. So we got everything taken out of. And now I'm just going to do a quick video showing you how to put it on. And after that, what we're going to do is I'm going to write a script and then we're going to do the second half of the video like that. So let's just real quick, just put it on the camera. Okay. The first thing you're going to need is the, the right step up ring from these rings that it comes with. So since I'm using the Tamron 2875, that comes with a 67 filter size thread. So that's the one I put on right here. So you want to just screw that in here. Okay. After you got that screwed in, then you gotta take the. Where is it? You gotta take this off of it. Come on, focus on it. Wait, it's not focusing. Oh, we gotta take this off, and then we got the 
Telecaster right here, and then you just slide it on. Actually, never mind. First, you gotta first you gotta take this filter off that's already on it for some reason. There's a 58 millimeter one, but after you take that off, then you should be able to just slide it on. Like so. It's a bit tricky. But I guess that's on. Yeah, that's on right there. That's on there. So after you do that, then you can just grab your phone and then you can just slide, you push the bottom of it. And then you can just slide your phone in there and boom and it just reflects off the phone screen onto the onto the screen on here and you can just read whatever's on there so now i'm gonna go and write a script for this video and we're gonna read that off the camera and see how that turns out all right for this part of the video i'm going to be reading it off the prompter which i am controlling with this remote right here and it was pretty easy to set up as it was easy to put it on your camera. I was worried that having this on my lens would interfere with the camera being on rails, but luckily it did no such thing. And one thing is that you can actually put your phone on the rails itself and it'll still reflect off. So I, I think it's better to actually do that because otherwise you have to like push down on the rail on the thing that's on the lens, which, it, which could damage the lens or the mount. So it's better to actually just have rails and then put your phone on the rails. But anyways, let's go, let's get back into it. But one thing that was a pain in the booty was that even though this is advertised to be on Android, the app for the program is not on the actual Android store. So I had to download the Amazon store for my Android phone, which is the Pixel 4 that is, is reflecting off of the camera right there. And then from there, I could download it. It wasn't a big deal, but if you go through the website, they have a link for the Android app, which doesn't work. So I had to go out of my way find it and i'll have a link for the app in the description if you're an android user to get the script on my phone i just wrote the script on my computer on google documents and then i just went on the google drive app and then just copied and pasted it on there so the final thought for this for this prompter is going to be that which is that um honestly it's pretty good the only thing that obviously i need to work on is my writing skills because i have to write a script as if i'm like talking so that's one thing I gotta work on, but I like it a lot because normally when I shoot YouTube videos, and this is one thing I'm gonna be actually using on corporate videos that I do, because not everyone's best at just speaking in front of a camera, is that, you know, just write a script for your video so you know what you're gonna say. Because a lot of times I would just sit down to make a YouTube video and then I would just like ramble for like 20 minutes and then, you know, the video just w would take forever for it to come out and then I would realize that I forgot to say some stuff. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. I make videos every single week, so make sure to come back and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, goodbye.